I think it, you know, arriving in Dallas and seeing um, just all the pageantry around the game and the history of the game, and just uh, getting a feel for that has been fantastic. I, you know, to be honest, we've been so moment by moment. It's, it, you know, you just you don't have the luxury uh, to have like big picture thought process. It's just kind of probably accomplishing what we need to do today to affect the 29th. You know, and so um, though we've enjoyed you know arriving and. You know, being in Dallas and being with the Cotton Bowl folks, uh, we're also just kind of narrowed in on what we have to accomplish. How locked in would you say the defense is right now? Well, I hope pretty locked in. I, you know, I think these guys have, this has been a journey. Um, there's been a, a huge um, investment, you know, uh, physical, emotional. Um, and so I think this is the culmination of that. And with all of that at stake, you know, these guys are, are going to be ready to play. Now we're, we're going to use every moment we have from now until Saturday to to prepare ourselves. But you know, they, they are locked in there for us. Trevor Lawrence, what stands out to you about him? How good of a quarterback is he? He's a major question. He is um, exceptionally talented. His arm strength, his confidence in his arm, um, really impressive for a young player. And, and, and even saying young player, I, I feel like every game he's he's played as a starter. You, you just see his maturation. You see his game evolving. You see his comfort level in the pocket. And yeah, I can't I can't you know, compliment him enough for just how impressed I've been. So, coach, you're one of two teams in all of college football to not give up more than 28 points in the game this year. What other ways can this defense improve? Oh, um, yeah. It, we, Again, I think I think we'll um, we've done a little bit of self scouting uh, coming out of the season, but you know, for us, it's more about how you make your opponent play left wing, how you you know take away their strengths or try to neutralize some of the things they do well. Um, and so, you know, our focus level right now is really on that more than uh, b bigger picture, you know, improvements. Um, certainly, limiting point totals is important to the success of the team. Um, and, you know, we've, we've, we've done that to varying levels of success through the year. But, you know, we're hoping to build on that. But more than importantly, just, you know, can we neutralize the things that we think Clemson does really well? And, um, and, you know, at the end of the day, play fundamentally sound football. It's been over a month since we played. So, I think, you know, for us, it's been a, the, the three points of focus have been technique, execution, and finish. Those three things have to do really well Saturday. What's the challenge of having that big layoff? Like you said, it's been so long since you've been a meaningful game. I think um, the, the conditioning component, you know, uh, preparing yourself to play a four quarter game, four quarter plus game, um, you know, in, in an emotionally charged environment, that's going to that's gonna be a challenge. I think Coach Kelly's put together a really good schedule, and I think different from other bowl games, it's not been so much about, um, you know, depth development as it is preparing to win the game. I mean, sometimes when you go into a bowl game, you're, you're looking to have like another spring practice where you're getting your young players. In. This has been about preparing this team to be its very best on the 29th. And I think within that spirit, you know, we've neutralized some of that conditioning. So there'll still be an element of getting our cleats in the ground early in the game. Um, and then, you know, within that, it's, it's you know, to attack on defense, how we pack our body position to the finish, and we spend a ton of time on that. Those will be things that we'll need to do well to, to have a chance to play our best. Do you practice differently 